People may think that Waldorf schools use blackboards because we just haven't joined the modern world. But actually, in Waldorf education, the blackboard is fundamental for conveying the curriculum in a beautiful and dynamic way. It's not just about what you learn, it's about how lessons are presented. Often in schools, the whole aspect of beauty is ignored. But in reality, all of us have an important relationship to beauty in the world, the beauty of nature, and the desire to be creative in some way. It's very important to stimulate that experience of beauty in childhood because it's enlivening and uplifting and helps us to become a whole person. It's also a powerful motivational tool. In the elementary years, children develop through the brain's limbic system, which supports emotion, motivation, and long-term memory. When you teach through the arts in those years, learning is colorful, dramatic, warm, and engaging. We want students' inner life to be rich and full of imagination, and the chalkboard helps us achieve this. The intricate chalkboard drawings that a Waldorf teacher creates in a rainbow of colors enliven the curriculum and stimulate the child's interest in learning. When students arrive in the morning and see a new image on the board, or watch one come to life before their eyes, they immediately become curious and eager to learn. The use of the chalkboard changes through the grades. In first and second grade, we are modeling for the children by drawing in front of them, mostly to illustrate the stories they have been told. Students at that age are really copying from the teacher, and those drawings change almost daily. The process of imitation deepens students' experience of the curriculum and helps to consolidate memory. It also develops artistic skills, which allow students' creativity to flourish along with their academic development. By about fifth grade, we're working with much more intricate visual material and academic content. An illustration of ancient Egyptian civilization, for example, or a large flower with scientific labels for a botany lesson. The blackboard serves as a dynamic textbook from which students create their own main lesson books. Unfortunately, our chalkboards are no longer adequate. They are antiques that date back to 1912, when the Adams School was built. The slate is worn in places and doesn't hold the chalk. You feel as if you're drawing on green soap. The chalk just slides right off, and the children always notice those empty spots. As the grades progress, the quality and complexity of the drawings increases. But if the board doesn't take the color, we can't achieve this. After doing a whole drawing, there's about as much chalk on the ledge as there is on the blackboard, because we have to work so hard to get the chalk to adhere. It's very dusty, and we spend a lot of time cleaning. I'm really excited about new chalkboards because when we tried them out, the sample, the chalk sticks to it beautifully. We can layer, which we couldn't do on these. Um, we can layer several chalks over, over each other. Um, and what's also really exciting is the space. I'm looking for a better surface, <laughs> definitely, so that it's easier to actually draw. There are spots on these blackboards that actually don't take any chalk at all. So all of a sudden you're in the fourth grade, oh yeah, there's the spot again. And it just doesn't hold any chalk and you have to work, work around it. The other thing is, I sometimes bring in pictures like this, or in third grade, the alphabet, and I usually have to come in before class and tape it on, and by the end of class I take it off again from the board, and next time I put it on again, on and in, in and out, so it's a lot of extra work. So if we have the new boards, I can leave it on. and. Uh, the class teacher can hide it and then I just open up the board again and there it is again, So, which is very practical. Being able to, to, to draw what I want, to know that I can actually spend some time working on a picture or you can spend time as a class working on a composition and I don't have to finish it off and make sure we're all finished, 
um, before the next class where somebody else needs to use the chalkboard, that we can keep things and continue working on them, have ongoing projects, or have things, also I like the idea of being able to maybe have something hidden and then easily open up the chalkboard and say, voila, like sort of at the, at the right moment without having to deal with scarves or curtains or what have you. A beautiful fresh canvas would be heavenly. The faculty tested a sample board and the quality exceeded our expectations. For Waldorf teachers, the blackboard is an essential professional tool. It's so important to start with a really black surface. Bringing a drawing to life out of nothingness is magical for the children to experience. Also, the brilliant colors of chalk that we use are more dynamic and stand out better when the surface is truly black. The new chalkboards have a much more durable surface, and they're magnetic, so we can hang things without tape, allowing us to conceal drawings to show later, hang student artwork, all sorts of things. The new boards also have sliding layers with multiple panels. Waldorf teachers spend hours on chalkboard drawings, and to not see good results, or to erase our work prematurely, is very frustrating. It's like giving a sculptor a bad piece of marble. The better they are, the better we can work with the children. We would be so excited to get new chalkboards this summer.